What's going on, sports cars fans? Ray from Philly here on this Wednesday night, April 26. And I want to talk about one of my set registries, the PSA Future Hall of Fame set registry. I picked up a card for that set. And I'm going to talk about that set a little bit because they added seven new cards to that set registry, they being PSA. Um, there's 45 cards in that set now. And what that means is that uh, it, it could be a player that's currently playing that they add to the set or a retired player. So if that player is in the future Hall of Fame set registry, if he ends up making the Hall of Fame, they move that card from the future Hall of Fame set registry to now the PSA post-war rookie Hall of Fame set registry. So I'm going to show the set registry. I'm going to show the seven new cards that were added. I picked up one of them this week. So first I'm going to uh, share my screen and go to my PSA set registry. It's right over here. So just to give you an idea, the 63 tops Pete Rose rookies in there, the, the uh, 64 tops Dick Allen rookie, the 70 tops Thurman Munson rookie, 74 tops Dave Parker, 77 tops Dale Murphy, so on and so forth. The new cards they just added and how they added it, they used to take suggestions from members out there, at, from PSA members, and then they would send out votes to all the members. They don't send out the voting anymore. They have a committee now that picks what card and what player is going to get into the future Hall of Fame set registry. That means they think that this player has a shot to get into the Hall of Fame. So the first card they added in the past couple of weeks is the 2002 Bowman Joe Mauer rookie, which he actually does have a really good shot. He's on the ballot for the first time next year. The second rookie they added was the 2011 Topps Freddie Freeman rookie. Now, Freddie has a Topps Chrome rookie, but PSA goes basically with their base flagship card. It's either going to be a Topps card, a Topps Chrome card, or a Topps Update card. If they don't have one of those three cards, then they'll go with a Bowman. I'm a little surprised they didn't go with the Topps card for Joe Maurer, his 2002 Topps card. Is a nice card, has a gold border, but instead they went with his Bowman card. I'm not sure why. So the third card they selected this week was the 2011 Tops Update Paul Goldschmidt rookie, which I have already. The fourth card is the 2011 Tops Update Jose Altuve rookie, which is on my radar. The 2013 Tops Manny Machado, 2013 Tops Update Nolan Arenado. And the last card they just added was the 2017 Tops Aaron Judge catching. So let's go back to just a screenshot of me here. And I'm going to show what I picked up. I picked up the Manny Machado rookie. And that is the Topps rookie. But I want to show you what I picked up first years ago. Because I thought there was going to be the Topps Chrome. So years ago, I bought a two, 2013 Topps Chrome of Manny Machado in a Gem Mint 10. And I didn't pay a lot of money for this card. Back then, I think I paid $25 for this card. And since then, the Topps Chrome is going for, I think, a couple hundred dollars. But PSA selected his regular Topps. So I had to go out this week and buy his Topps rookie because if he gets into the Hall of Fame, which I think he has a really good shot to do, they're not going to select the Topps Chrome to go into the post-war rookie. It's going to be this one that I just picked up. And you can see the difference. It's a white bordered card, not a Chrome. There is his 2013 Topps. Manny Machado fielding Gem Mint 10. Beautiful looking card. It's the same card as the Topps Chrome. It's just that one's Chrome and one's paper, just regular Topps. So I'm going to go over Manny Machado's numbers as to why I think he has a really good shot and why I invested in Manny Machado. And let's, uh, I'm going to switch the screen now. And let's see. Let's go back to the. Uh, PSA registry here, and now I'm going to go to uh, here we go to reference. So Manny is a six-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove Award winner, Silver Slugger, Platinum Glove. He hasn't won an MVP yet. He is 30 years old, and he'll be 31 in July. But here's two milestones that I like to look at for players getting into the Hall of Fame when they're currently playing. I like to see a player have at least 1,500 hits by the age of 30 years old. He has 1,617 at 30 years old, and he's still playing. To get into the 500 home run club, I like to see a player have 250 homers by the age of 30 old, 
and he's at 284. He's off to a very slow start this year, but I'm not worried. I still feel that he'll probably hit around 24, 25 homers this year. His war right now is 51.4. You, you uh, scroll down the bottom of the uh, base reference, okay, and they give you this Hall of Fame monitor as to where he's at right now. He's a 57, likely Hall of Famer is 100, and he's still playing. I, he's a great fielder. He's a great, great all-around player. Just getting his rookie card uh, before it's too late. He's still pretty young old, and I really think he's got a great shot at Hall of Fame. I'm a little perturbed because it's really tough to try and figure out when you're trying to find a player that's currently playing and you feel he has a shot at the Hall of Fame, here, let me get back to just my shot here. And you're not sure which card to get. I'm trying to, I'm seeing, I'm noticing the pattern what PSA is doing. It's pretty much either tops, tops chrome, tops update. If it's not one of those three, it's going to be a Bowman or Bowman chrome, but it's really tough to tell what PSA is going to select. That's why years ago I went with the tops chrome because that was, you know, Manny only has the tops chrome and he has the tops heritage, I think, and the tops paper. This is more valuable than Topps Paper because it's a Chrome. So I went with this because it was more valuable. But PSA went with the Topps Paper, which is fine. You know, it's still affordable. I think I paid about 50 bucks for this, which for a guy who has a really, really good shot at getting in the Hall of Fame and he's still only 30 years old, is not a is not a bad bar. So wanted to come on and just give an update on my PSA Future Hall of Fame. They've added seven new cards. For, so for all you guys out there that like the prospect and buy future Hall of Fame players, take a look at the future Hall of Fame set registry. They've added seven new cards. Uh, so I added the Machado. I'm looking at the Altuve. He's on this list. I'm looking at Arenado. He's one of my favorite players. So there you have it. Quick video. Wanted to come on, give an update on the future Hall of Fame set registry. There's my Topps Chrome of Manny. And that's the Topps Chrome. And here's the newest pickup, 2013 Tops Paper, Manny Machado, Gem Mint 10. There you have it, guys. I appreciate all your likes and comments. I will be back Friday night, Friday night vintage, to go over two new pickups for my PSA Willie McCovey basic tops run. Till then, guys, like I always say, have fun with it. See you real soon.